What's up everyone? This is going to be the updated Prey 2017 Any% percent tutorial. Um, if you're brand new to speedrunning Prey, there's two things you're going to need to do, and that is download the speedrun save file and downpatch to 1.0 so that the load remover uh, works. Um, linked in the description will be the link to the page where you download both of them, and once you uh, get to this page, again, download the speedrun save and the down patch. Um, for the speedrun save, it's really simple. All you have to do is follow the readme. It'll explain everything, um, so I'm not going to go over that. Uh, for the down patch, uh, once you download this zip file, extract it, and then uh, go to your Steam common folder, and then drag and drop the extracted files into your common folder and then allow Windows or whatever to copy and replace. Um, and yeah. So once you've done that, we're going to go back into the game. Um, and if you follow the readme, you'll know which campaign to choose, um, depending on however you set that up. For me, it's campaign three. Um, so yeah, you won't have all of these save files. You'll have your auto save that you made, and then this save file with two minutes on it. Uh, it's a manual save, so all you got to do is load that. Now, the first five to seven seconds of this run is very difficult. If you do it fast, um, you save like two seconds overall, which in this game is a lot of time. So, this is going to be one of the two or three major practice points um, that you're going to want to just grind out to know that you know how to do this. Um, so, once you've loaded the save, hey, I'm just going to make a quick save with F5, um, and then we're going Set to reload the it. To and that's for resetting quickly. Um, if, we, if you do mess up the trick, you can just uh, quick load and you'll reload that save file again. Um, so, time will start right as you press any key or button. Um, that's when time starts. Um, there's no auto start, to my knowledge, in the loader mover or anything like that. So, you're going to start time as soon as you press whatever button. I, I usually just press my bind for starting time, and it'll also start the game as well. Um, so there's that. But, hey, once you, Wake up. um, You're start, daylight. if you Set notice the there was that black screen, you it's just a few tests. when you're in that black Don't screen, you're going to want to turn to the right very slowly, oh, and you're going to angle yourself uh, this way. Really great you decided to come After you've done that, We're gonna shake this um, you're going to, you're going to want like to times. sprint forward, and this is where the run in this first split and the second split um, are really going to be troublesome. As you can see, I'm sprinting and I'm using stamina. By the time we're all the way at the end of this level, all the way over there, um, you'll see momentarily, we need to have this white bar anywhere from 25% filled to 33% filled. And the way we're going to do that um, is we're going to abuse the sliding and jumping mechanics, keeping your momentum from your sprint. As you can see, I'm not using sprint, or stamina rather, but I'm keeping the momentum from it. Um, sliding does the same thing. Bar's not going down as long as you're in the air or you're sliding. So this is about where you'd need your sprint, or your stamina bar. Um, to be at at the end. So get used to manipulating that stamina bar because it's very important for the next level. Um, so yeah, again, angle this way, grab this chair. As soon as you grab this, you're going to want to slide. Um, or right before you grab this, excuse me, you're going to want to slide and then grab this chair. That'll keep your, um, one, your stamina from being used. And two, you'll keep your momentum 
because as you can see, I'm a little bit slower now as opposed to if I didn't have um, anything. So I'm going to try and just see. I kept a little bit of my, ste uh, my speed. So slide, grab this chair, come into this room and stand here. Look at this door. Um, and we're going to toss the chair up onto this door just like that. Um, and if you're going to do this quickly, while you're still in the air, you're going to flick to the right, and you're going to skip the animation of climbing this. You're going to skip that animation. So, like that. Next, even though you're stuck in a crou uh, crouch, um, which you can't see because um, no board's covering it up, um, you can still get a small little sprint. So we're going to sprint jump to the top of this door, like that. Next, all you have to do is walk into this corner and you're gonna clip into this chair and you're going to jump. Sometimes you won't have to jump, you'll just clip up here um, without jumping. Most of the times you will. Um, so yeah. If you're new, I would recommend saving right here um, because this next jump is kind of difficult. There is a little ledge right there. Can't see it too well right here, and I can't really move to point it out even more. But um, that's where we need to mantle up to. And to do that, right past this light, about right there, right past this little light, there's a tiny little platform we can sprint jump to and then sprint jump off of in order to grab this ledge. So like that. <laughs> That's going to take a little bit of practice. Oh no, I'm stuck. Okay, I'm going to have to get back up there. Um, I'll just reload. Uh, that can also happen sometimes too. Um, if you don't instantly turn to the right once you grab that ledge and then sprint up, you'll just slide off for some reason. So, I'm going to want to do that. Why is that happening? Go around the corner. <laughs> um, yeah, once you've clipped through that wall, Sprint around and up here, and through this door, and into this uh, right corner. Now, I have a video um, that's going to be linked in the description of exactly how to do this trick. Um, it is frame rate dependent, so I, I go into details of different setups depending on your frame rate. Um, so watch that. I'm going to just show it off here. As you can see, I kind of get stuck um, if I hold W while jumping into the wall. And what this allows me to do is kind of just jump off of the wall and climb up here. So what this is going to do, um, there's a trigger right here. Oh god, I almost hit it. <laughs> um, right here, middle of the room is this trigger that starts a cutscene and locks this door. However, if we open this door and start the cutscene at the same time, we're able to still run through the door um, while it's open. This will save you 20 seconds in the run, and it also looks really cool uh, when you get it quick. Um, so you're going to run off right here. And as you can see, the door is open. Technically, it's locked right now, but it's open because we hit the trigger to open the door before we hit the trigger to start the cutscene, which locks the door. So that's why that works. Next. This is why you need this save file. No one has been able to stop the you need these two Psy Hypos from this locker. Make I'm sure to grab to them. You stay alive. Next you're going to run further. through this door, around this corner, and grab this um, key. Jump over the wall, hit the button, and wrap around this corner. While you're sprinting, grab the glue cannon. And if need be, again, watching your stamina, just slide um, and jump and all that. Right there, I missed a trick. So if you flick your mouse while mantling up on this railing here, you're going to skip an animation that saves 0.8 seconds. So how I do it is if I can get the jump off of this, it'd be great, um, is I jump off of that little corner and then just look straight up. Um, and I will skip the animation almost every single time. Um, you can also just, I haven't done it in a very long time. Um, get a jump like that, and if you flick your mouse really quickly, it also works. Find something that works for you here. Um, hey, bud. <laughs> you okay? Alright. Um, 
But yeah, just find something that works for you. It saves 0.8 of a second, um, which, again, in a run this short is very, very, very important. Um, so yeah. Once you've done that little trick, uh, hit this button to go to the lobby. And uh, yeah. So, if you're returning to Prey, and you remember the old lobby route, um, we clip out of bounds right at the beginning here. Um, however, that's not as fast. Um, it's like three or four seconds slower than the new way. Um, and this is really, really why you need to conserve your stamina. This is why you need at least 25% of your stamina bar uh, to 35%, or 33%, excuse me. Um, it's so you won't have to slide. If you have a lower, if you have around 25%, you might have to slide once or twice. Um, I'm going to do it anyway, just to, as a proof of concept, even though I have a full stamina bar. Um, but yeah, all you're going to do, hold Shift and W, and turn a little bit to the right. The Might have to slide here, and Ready all that. First real now, view of the world? when you are jumping off of this, off of this railing, you're going to want to aim for the stairs, and while in the air, you're going to want to hold crouch. What this does is when you take damage from falling onto stairs, and while you're holding crouch, even if you're on toggle crouch like I am, um, you will get a very, 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 very fast slide down the stairs for whatever reason. I don't know why this works, but it does. Um, so... I didn't get a sprint. <laughs> nice, dude. An alert. I'm gonna just reload. All um, attention. Station leadership oh, it's has saved. Issued awesome. An alert. Okay, well, All I'll run back up there. Report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. So like that. As you can see, I went very, very fast um, when hitting the stairs and taking damage. Uh, now, if you're new, this trick might be a little difficult. Um, I'm not sure if this works on console it might um but if it doesn't go uh i will link the old uh, tutorial in the description and uh just watch that route um however if uh you're on pc and it does work or if you're on console and it does work again i don't know for this trick to work you need to go into your video settings your advanced settings and then make sure object detail Everything else can be on low, does not matter. Um, but make sure object detail is on at least medium. For whatever reason, uh, glue hitbox is determined by your object detail. Um, if you're on low, for whatever reason, the hitbox won't extend um, through the wall, which I'm going to explain in a moment here. Um, but if you're on medium and above, it will. Don't know why it works. And having it on the highest settings does not affect the difficulty of this trick. So I would just, if you're like me and you like performance, I would just go with medium and have everything else on low. Um, but once you've set that up, you're going to shoot a glue at this little white bar. And then right, you can't really see it because of the glare, um, but there's this brown bar right here. And right above it, you're going to shoot a glue. What this is going to do is it's going to make a space so that we're going to constantly slide off of this bottom glue. Why that's important is when we get a certain animation for climbing up this glue, it's going to allow us to grab the, uh, the top glue from the other side of the wall. So as you can see, the hitbox is actually be uh, behind this wall right here. So... All you have to do is jump up to it, and then hold space. That's It's that simple. Um, just watch the inputs for that. Um, I'll, be, I'll do it again in a second here, because uh, we have to. But once you've clipped through this wall, if you are new, make a quick save. Um, you will be falling for a very long fall, and if you miss 
grabbing a ledge, you will die. Um, no matter what. Unless you get very, very, very lucky and you hit the very, very edge of this little platform, um, which for some reason you take little to no damage. Um, but it does not happen often. So, once you've clipped through this wall, make sure to quick save. And then look down. And you're going to be grabbing this ledge. Uh, try to aim where I landed, um, because you're going to be lined up for the next trick, which we're going to be doing the exact same thing we did up top over there, but we're going to just be doing it from up here. So again, quick save if you're new. Um, you're going to shoot a glue at the middle of the T, that might be too high, um, and then on this silver bar right under it. And all we're going to do is get the same animation and do the same exact inputs, and we will clip through this wall. Next, you're just going to come here and go to life support. Life support's really easy. It's running from the beginning of the level to the end of the level. There's nothing to it. It's just follow this path. Um, there are Typhon that can boost you a little bit forwards, and it saves a a lot of time, upwards of two seconds, if you can get it, but it is extremely rare for it to happen. So don't expect it to ever happen. Um, just kind of follow the path that I take. And if it happens, it happens. Cool. If not, oh well. Right? Once you're at this screen, all you're going to need to do is hold W, or whatever your forward movement button is, and uh, shift so you get a sprint. And just jump over here. Right there, the Typhon actually pushed me a little bit into the wall. And you're going to come into Cargo Bay. So, in Cargo Bay, just like we did in the intro split, or the very, very, very beginning, uh, where we're going to turn our mouse during the black screen. This time we're going to turn it to the left instead of the right. Um, about the same and we're going to just run straight forward. So, turn it to the left a little bit and run straight forward, and then follow this path. Now, as soon as this animation has stopped and you regain control of Morgan, you're going to look up here, uh, so up left, or up right, excuse me. <laughs> You're going to look upright, and you're going to hold Shift and W. And you're going to hit your head on a wall, on a little wall ceiling thing. Once you've hit your head on it, let go of every single input. If you make any input, you will get stuck, and it, the game will just not put, not put you where you need to be. Um, so, right now I'd gain control, and I'd look up here. And we're going to just fly up here. This is... So again, I hit my head. And I stopped making any inputs. And I'm now out of bounds. Um, once you've clipped out of bounds, you're going to be looking towards this little... Uh, wall, I guess. You're going to look up right again. And we're going to fly straight up. And this... Let's see if I can this thing will spawn in. Uh, you're going to look essentially in the middle of this black part, and then you're just going to fly. And eventually you should uh, run into this this wall. And all you have to do is interact with that little circle. Um, so let me get a better angle of that. What you're going to do is interact with this little circle and uh, confirm to go to Guts. Now this is the first time we're going to Guts. Um, so, this is probably the harder of the three times you come to Guts, because there are four enemies right at the start here, that if they hurt you at all, you will um, get stunned, and they will kill you. They will stun lock you, you will not be able to move, and they will kill you. So, um, I'm not going to go into too much explaining about this, just follow the in, uh, my path and my inputs, and you should very easily um, get through this. 
Uh, however, their spawn locations are random, so sometimes this won't work. And if that does happen, uh, just reload and try again. Uh, but we're going to come over here, start stopping, and we're going to hit this conveyor belt. If you hit this conveyor belt, uh, you're good. Now, if you look in the bottom right, um, right here, you can see my, uh, my velocity. Uh, right now it's like 10.5 meters per second. Every time it gets to either 9.99 or 10.00, you're going to want to hit the conveyor belt. This will give you a boost um, uh, of like 3 meters per second, and that adds up over time, a lot. So every single time one of those two things happen, you're going to just bonk your head into the, uh, the conveyor belt right here and uh, you'll get a little bit of a boost. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but there's an upwards um, upwards conveyor belt right here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to look essentially perpendicular to it, and if you do that properly while also getting a boost from it, you're going to get a 14 boost, which flings you up uh, upwards very fast. And that's where we need to go. So I'll try and demonstrate that. It's kind of hard to get sometimes. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to look perpendicular to it. I didn't get it. I was too low. Um, but you would just bonk your head into it, and you should get it. And we're just going to follow this conveyor belt's path. Again, hitting it every time we need to reset our speed. Once you see this, you know you know you're at the end. So, I fly up here. Now, once you come through this door, make sure you grab this Typhon Lure. Make absolute sure. And if you want to, grab the the corpse items as well. Um, if you want to. I don't. I play a little bit risky. Hopefully I get lucky. Um, but yeah, make sure you grab that and interact with the door and go to the Arboretum. And once again, just like the other two maps, we're going to uh, turn our mouse during the black screen, and we're going to run straight forward. This time we're going to run very slightly to the left. I'm not going to do it here, um, just to show you. Um, but during that black screen, you're going to want to turn to the left and start sprinting towards this box. By the time you get up here, you're going to be able to see what you're doing. Next, you can either jump right here, it's kind of hard to see, or you can jump right here. Want to grab either of those two ledges. This side is more consistent. However, this side is faster. So, I'm going to just grab that ledge. Next, you're going to want to sprint over here. Um, make sure to quick save. If you don't want to do this clip, because we're going to be clipping out of bounds right here, just follow this path. And you're going to end up exactly where we were, where we're going to be. Because um, this clip can be a little bit challenging um, when you're first starting out. So, there is this white little beam right here, and you're just going to shoot a glue a little bit lower than it. You're going to jump to the side right here, and you're going to get on this light, and you're going to mantle up here. Okay. Now all you need to do is make sure you're flush up against the wall that we jumped towards, turn to the right a little bit, upwards a little bit, and shoot a glue. Sometimes it doesn't work. Might have to shoot a couple more. And as you can see, I'm out of bounds. Once you're out of bounds, don't do any forward inputs because you will fall down there and a piece of geometry will spawn in. And uh, you're going to have to run up the stairs to grab the thing we need up here. So, um, we're going to be grabbing this bench. All you got to do is uh, press jump and hold it. 
and for some reason you go a little bit higher. Next, we're going to just sprint, and while you're sprinting, grab the shotgun, and then jump over that, and again, while you're sprinting, grab this silence pistol, and while you're sprinting, grab the Psy Hypo. And then just follow this path. Okay. Now we're in Medical Bay. Um, this is the easiest clip in the game, by far. However, uh, I think if I shoot it right here... I'm going to show what happens if you get this wrong. If I can even... Nope, that was right. Okay. <laughs> if you shoot this glue too low, you're going to get stuck in this like uh, diagonal ceiling, so... Just be careful where you place your glue. Um, you can either clip out right there or right here. This is a little bit faster. So, all you get to do is just jump and climb on top and you'll clip through. And uh, you're going to want to land on this box. If you land right here, just jump up here and you'll mantle this. Um, next, we're going to be running down to this little uh, platform and we're going to be sliding because there is a big rock that's going to spawn in a second here. Right here, you can see the very bottom of it. So, you're going to just slide through. Now, this is going to be the hardest trick, aside from the, the first five seconds of the intro. Um, and that's because we need to land on that fabrication plane down there, the one that's in the very center of my crosshair. We need to land on that. Now, there is an easy way and a hard way to do this. Um, I'm going to show off my visual cue. However, this is frame rate, uh, not frame rate, uh, FOV dependent. Um, so if you're playing at 120, this will work for you. If you're not playing at 120 FOV, uh, and you want to try to do this, find something that works. I, I don't know how to do this quick on anything other than 120 FOV. Um, and I'm going to show off the hard way uh, so that you know the concept and then if you know, you're not playing at 120 find something that does work for you um, so I would sprint forward on this edge and as soon as I see this frame where the very edge of this um, little circular thing is on the edge of my screen like that I would fall off, continue holding W, and I'd be able to grab, if it would spawn it, I'd be able to grab the very edge of that fabrication plane. This is very difficult, so I might have to try a couple of times. Like that. Never mind. <laughs> so, the goal is to land on this fabrication plane, again. Now, if you don't want to do the hard way, I think I saved. Hope I did. Um, yeah, if you don't want to do the hard way, as you can see, we can we can lean, and all you got to do, oops, I missed, is shoot a glue onto that one that we land on. Save, and then fall onto it like that. Um, next, all you got to do is grab this plan that's right next to it, the fabricator plan. Don't grab these two. They are the exact same thing, except one of these breaks the game. <laughs> so, grab the one right here. This one is fine. I don't remember which one of these two is okay and which one's not, but it's... Yeah, just uh, don't mess with any of these. Next, you're going to want to jump to this corner. Um, you can do this without glue. Uh, below you and over here. Um, but if you're learning, I'd recommend to shoot a glue at that corner and then save, and then sprint jump and grab it. Um, you can make the jump again from the actual fabrication plan all the way to this corner without shooting glue. Um, but it's it's really hard with timing. Next, all you gotta do, shoot a glue right there, climb it, climb this little ledge on this corner, and next we're gonna climb this wall right here, and as soon as we get on top, don't walk forward. So we're on top here, and all, all you got to do, sometimes it won't work, there we go. Uh, you're going to just want to jump straight forward, and you'll get pushed through um, the floor, which is what you need. 
just watch the inputs for that. It's really easy. Um, next, you're going to want to swap to your pistol and run up these stairs. And you're going to slide shoot this window. Uh, so that you keep your momentum. And just follow this path. Open this door. There's going to be a mimic we're going to kill. Oh god, frame rate. Right there. That's a glue cannon. Just a mimic. Um, just shoot it. And pick everything up from this guy. And these boxes. Next, once you've picked everything up, open the recycler. Hold your interact key to junk all the, tr uh, the trash you have. And uh, next, all we need is the glue cannon, the glue canister, the pistol, and the pistol ammo. So we're going to get rid of everything else. everything else. If you did this right, you will have three of each uh, each material. As you can see, I have three of each material. If you don't have three of each material, since you are on patch 1.0, what you can do, because it's the exotic material is the one that you're probably going to not have enough. Um, but what you're going to do, since we're on patch 1.0, you're going to put this in the recycler, and we're going to split the stack. Again, you don't have to do this if you have three. It's just showing this as a proof of concept. Um, but you're going to split the stack, you're going to exit, and then you're going to recycle again. And as you can see, we now have 4.95 instead of uh, 3.30. And just a little bit of a duplication glitch. Next, all we got to do is build the null wave transmitter room. We're going to interact. The, the thing that we landed on and grabbed, that's what um, we're making right here. Now, as soon as, the, as soon as you can pick this up from right here, you're going to press F, or you're going to hold backwards and press F to pick it up. And what this is going to do is it's going to let you walk backwards while in the cutscene. So, like this. Normally, you would not be able to move. Like, I'm going to stop moving, and as you can see, I can't move. Um, but what this allows us to do is get here quicker and interact with this button quicker. So next is Guts Down. I'm going to show two ways to do this. Um, the hard way and the easy way. Um, I recommend learning the hard way. I really do. It saves like five or six seconds. It's pretty substantial. Um, but it does take a lot of timing. So, once we're here, we're going to run up to this box and uh, climb up here. Make a save here, just in case. Um, you want to shoot your glue at this beam. Don't shoot it too high, otherwise you won't be able to get, you won't be able to climb on top of it. Um, and don't do that, because as you can see, it won't spawn the entire glue. So what you're going to want to do, stand on around the middle, shoot towards just lower than the bottom, and then you should be able to climb on top of it and get in this corner. Next, all you got to do, pull forward and shoot a glue, and you're going to clip through. So now, um, I'm going to show both ways, the easy way first, and then the hard way. Um, the easy way is just making sure you don't hit any of the blue. And you can kind of just land here. You can land lower, um, but uh, yeah. You're going to want to stay on the right side here. And you're going to clip through right here. And then head towards that door. Now, if you want to do the hard way, which again, I recommend, um, make sure to watch the inputs here, uh, because we're going to run into this blue wall, and right as soon as we hit it, we're going to stop holding W, and we're, it's just going to kind of slowly move us that direction, and also downwards. Um, once this Heart of the Coral objective hits 120, we're going, we're going to be facing this way too. Once this hits 120, 
we're going to hold W, and we're going to get into the anti-grav. And then we're going to quick save. Um, what that's going to allow us to do is it's going to let us clip into the anti-grav, uh, the, the door that you would be heading to from doing the slow way, you're going to be clipping into that door, skipping the whole flying to the door section, which saves like five or six seconds. So this might take me a couple of tries again, um, but uh, yeah. So I hit the wall, let go of everything, and as soon as this blue wall is past me, I turn this way. And at 120, right there, I hold forwards, and I hit it. Okay. So, ideally, you would want to be a little bit lower. And you want to make sure that you're not in the actual blue, the blue rectangular thing. You want to make sure. Um, so we're going to go a little bit lower. Oh, oh. If that happens, you have to reload, because, yeah. So, we want to go under. Oh, I went too far under. <laughs> Okay, so if you go under, you're going to find this, and you need to go under this, oh god, and now we're completely under what we just landed on, and you're going to need to turn, that was completely unintentional, actually, <laughs> um, but that's the idea, you're going to clip through the door. Um, So let me do that properly now. <laughs> okay. Oops, wrong way. So right here. All you gotta do is you just need to bonk your head into this, like, very corner right here. That was too low. Too low again. Come on. Once again, too low. My angle might be wrong, I think. Uh, I need to flip it this way. There we go. This should work. Nope. And this is why you want to make a quick save. God damn it. Actually, I'm on the wrong fucking side, I think. Might be this one. Yeah, okay, I was on the wrong side. My bad. My bad. So instead of bonking your head on the one connected to the white piece, you're going to want to connect, uh, bonk your head on this one that's connected to the blue piece. So, same angle. Um, same exact inputs. Stitch your head on that, and you will clip through very easily. Screen might be tilted <laughs> like mine is right now. Um, it does that. That'll change whenever you uh, either jump like that or change maps. Um, but all you gotta do once you clip through that, let's go to Psychotronics. And now um, again, we're going to just run straight forward as soon as we possibly can. Do not wait as soon as you're able to make inputs, hold W and hold Shift, and just run straight through the enemies. I, I know, sounds weird. They do not have collision. You will not get stuck on them. Just run straight forward. Like so. Do not worry about them killing you either. Jump right there. And now we're here. If you did not run forward, there would be an enemy right there that will block you and kill you. Um, all you gotta do after that is interact with the little circular thing. Turn around, and we're going right back from where we came. That should do it. Come to the and you can jump while in there. And, and you can do a stair slide here if you get it. If not, 
it's not that big of a deal. It saves like half a second at most. Um, but yeah. So now we're back in guts. Um, this time we're going to be clipping out of bounds again. And instead of going down, we're going to be going up. Um, I have a very weird setup for this. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. I have a very weird setup for this. Um, but it works. Um, so yeah. When you are here, you can shoot the glue anywhere on this wall, as long as it's high enough and not too high, because you need to climb up there. Uh, can you see it in the video? I, I think. Yeah, okay, you can. Um, so right up here, there's these two vertical lines. There's one right here, there's the corner, there's one here, and then there's another one. You're going to want to aim uh, for the very, like, towards the middle Essentially, get the um, the little vertical line in your crosshair, but move slightly up, and you should get the glue to spawn just like that. That actually will 100% work if I do this right. Um, next, all you got to do is climb up here, and if you get stuck right here, sprint and just hold jump and turn around the corner, and you will strafe around it. Next, all you got to do shoot into this corner while holding forwards. Oh, <laughs> I hit the anti-grav. <laughs> I hit the anti-grav and then moved backwards to show exactly where to go. And it cancelled the anti-grav. <laughs> um, that's my bad. Again. You're gonna clip through. Okay, this is what I wanted to show. You will always clip through if you set that up properly. Um, so yeah. Once you're here, fly straight forwards. Look up once you pass up the thing. And now we're going to get in in between these two blue boxes. If you go too far to the right, you're going to cancel your anti-grab. If you go too far to the left, you will hit a wall, an invisible wall. So you want to kind of keep this part in the center. And we're just going to go straight. So just if need be, a little bit too far to the right, I feel. Uh, but yeah, at the end of this, as long as you are in this blue box, half of your body is in this blue box and half of it's out, this ending section will spawn in. All you gotta do is either come from the top, right there, um, which I don't find as consistent, or you go from the bottom, which is what I usually do. Um, and then once you get right here, clip through, and we're going to ride the conveyor belt again, doing the same little trick from before to gain speed. And that's pretty much it for the run. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it for the run. Um, now it's just a run to the end of the game. Um, nice voice crack. Gotta love it. <laughs> We're also done with clipping out of bounds. All you gotta do now is swap to your pistol. And uh, again, it's just a literal straightforward path. Um, so... I know this video is really long, but I want it to be as in-depth as I possibly could be. Um, so hopefully this helps any new players and all that. And uh, yeah, so once this lets me load in, I'm going to run straight forward and slightly to the right. And if you jump right there with your, if you just look slightly up, you're going to skip the animation on this box for whatever reason. Don't know why. Um, Run through this door. Follow this exact path. This is the quickest. Gotta avoid this light right here. Avoid another light. And we're going to come in this. If you follow that path, you will have no problems with stamina. Um, next, just... As with every button we do, just press it and go to the next level. Next, we're going to be killing January, who we've only heard twice. Um, and after we kill January, uh, that'll allow us to end the run by pushing a button. 
as soon as you see the cutscene pop up, that's when timer, the timer stops. Um, you do have to manually stop it as well as starting it. So, yeah, just run straight forward. Run to the right right here. Shoot January. If you want to, you can kill Alex as well. And then push this button. And right now is when time would stop. Um, and that's the run. Uh, I hope this helps anyone learning the run and all that. And uh, I will link the Discord invite to the Prey server, uh, Prey speedrunning server, in the description as well. If you have any questions, ask there. We typically answer rather quickly. Um, but yeah, uh, all the resources again will be linked in the description and everything. But uh, that's that's the run. So yeah, hope this helps.